Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. 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 Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video for me. Um, so I know that a lot of people are actually doing videos about mental health. Um, and some people don't like it because they think people are clamoring for attention. I am not somebody who clamors for attention, but you know how you just feel like things need to be said. I just feel like things need to be said. Um, I feel like over this past year, well, if you don't know, my mother passed in August of 2020 so we are coming up on the anniversary of her passing um also the anniversary of my husband having a very serious injury actually the day after my mother passed so needless to say i am going through or i went through quite a bit in 2020 that kind of dragged into 2021 and the way i have been like handling things the way i have been feeling about things and um I just kind of feel like it is just one of those things I just kind of want to get out especially when it comes to my YouTube channel I have let those types of things get in the way of actually doing my YouTube the way I used to I used to be way more consistent with my youtube channel than i am now i am having a hard time sort of it, it is sort of feeling like a job on top of everything else or it was feeling like a job whenever i actually sit down in front of the camera i'm good but whenever it comes to the thought of preparing to sit down in front of the camera i just completely just kind of throw it to the side like I can't even be bothered to do it so it's a lot that I kind of got down here today in my little favorite space that I actually put together just for YouTube videos this is like a corner of my basement that I actually set up as a YouTube studio because I was super into it but for whatever not for whatever reason when you face loss and when you face um possible loss it kind of puts things into a different perspective i kind of fell into that this this doing youtube was not as important as other things even though it's something that gave me joy i just wasn't on in the mindset that i needed to be sitting down in front of this camera putting makeup on acting like everything was okay i have since um talk to and this probably happened almost immediately I started talking to a therapist and she basically said you need to find something that you are passionate about and I thought about it and I was like I, I when I was talking to her I was like I just I have no idea of what I'm passionate about like I don't want to do anything and then I was thinking about how much I used to absolutely love like getting ready for my YouTube videos like purchasing things to do reviews on so I thought that this is something that I need to get back into and this is going to be therapeutic for me um so I went through and this is almost a whole year now the lack of desire of wanting to do anything that had anything to do with YouTube even though I pushed through sometimes and I did it um it was kind of hard to push through and do it Today, I woke up and I actually wanted to get ready and to slap this hair wig on my head and do some makeup. And this is actually a tutorial that you probably already saw. But um, yeah, so that is where I have been um, in my head so far this past year as far as doing YouTube. I feel like I am in a much better space now as far as dealing with um, loss. I am not by any means depressed. My therapist actually had me do the, the Bex depression score, I think it's called. 
and I scored um, like a six, I think, and it, it it equal to yeah, these sometimes these feelings happen and it's normal, so it's okay to feel sad from you know every now and again, but um, yeah, so. <laughs> I am going to get back into it. I keep looking at it because my camera said it only had eight minutes left on it. And I'm at five minutes as we speak. I think I have to delete some stuff. Um, so my lack of desire led to me being super inconsistent with my YouTube videos. And with that inconsistency led, the inconsistency led to me not really growing um, I probably have had less than 50 subscribers this year subscribed to my channel and I'm being completely honest. I am at like, um, less than 4,100 subscribers and I've been doing YouTube, I feel like since 2009, I feel like I should have way more subscribers, but I blame myself for my inconsistency. So that is something I am working on. I actually am going to get a new planner because my planner is is expired at this point so we're gonna buy us a new happy planner and start actually planning out videos and what we want to do i kind of write them type like type them into my phone like ideas i have that pop up on my in my head i just put them in my phone but me being old school i like to like put pen to paper and um write stuff down and i think that helps also so we're going to work on our consistency we are going to work on pushing through and coming through with the enthusiasm and wanting to do our YouTube videos or wanting to do to do my YouTube videos. This is all on me. Um, and I'm going to work on like bring you things that you want to see. With that being said, I may not always um, be bringing you the latest and the greatest. I may have an idea in my head to do a, a look. Like I have a an idea in my head before the summer ends to do a poolside, what I call a poolside look. So you know that's going to be like blue watery colors. But um, so it's going to be more stuff like that and probably less hauls. But I have to use the makeup that I have bought, which brings me to my next point. I am at sort of not makeup burnout i am at sort of makeup um what is the word that i was thinking of overload i'm at makeup overload like i've been buying so much um and i wrote notes as i keep looking down so i um can kind of keep myself on track of what i wanted to say but i have bought so many new palettes that I need to actually use. I actually need to bring them to you all because we're, as they may not be new palettes, they may be palettes that you haven't seen. They may not be palettes that you have seen used on somebody with my complexion or somebody in my age group. FYI, I am 51. Um, so we are going to be bringing you the stuff that I actually purchased and cutting down on the hauls um there are other and let me stop for a second i need to delete some stuff all right so i am back um i was saying so during my time of not actually doing youtube videos i have been watching a lot of youtube videos now I absolutely enjoy watching YouTube videos, but I, at the same time, have sort of let that, and I think, I feel like all this stuff ties together when your your mental state is not where it should be, you let things bother you that, that really shouldn't bother you. But I am sitting here watching other people sort of develop and don't get me wrong, I applaud you 150%, but it makes me feel like I'm doing absolutely nothing. That is That stretches across not only YouTube, but also in my personal life, like with my business. I see people hustling, and I am sitting here with a whole business with new products that I need to put out that are like sitting like upstairs in my storage that... um. 
I think you would like and just not having the the desire or the motivation and that's the word I'm looking for not really even having the motivation to put those things out not having the motivation to um sort of improve my eyeshadow techniques or skills or even though this little eyeshadow look I got on the day is kind of cute um I, I feel sort of inferior to other people and this is by no means one of those videos where I want you to feel sorry for me whatsoever because I have a plan and that plan is 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 going to be cemented and in place and we are going to move forward but I let that stuff kind of seep into me where I started feeling sorry for myself I started feeling like oh my god I can't even get it together to, to like improve my makeup application techniques like I am really slipping like at one point I thought like I really don't even know how to put eyeshadow on anymore and then it really got to me so I was sitting there where like I would much rather sit there and watch somebody else do YouTube videos than actually do them myself. Nobody is watching them anyway. I for the most part get less than 100 views on any one of my videos and, and that stumps me because I'm like I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I'm so boring people just don't want to watch me. I don't know what it is but I let all of that stuff get into my head and I just did nothing. So I'm not moving forward. I'm just doing nothing. So, sorry, my throat is dry from talking. We need to drink some Diet Coke. Not sponsored, by the way. Anyway, um, so my plan, and I, I do have to thank my therapist a lot because she has really, really helped me along the way. I think she's ready to let me go now. I think she thinks I might be ready. But um, I am going to get back into it because this is what I really, really like to do. I really, really like doing YouTube videos. Um, I am really, really excited about my, my business. But at this point, I think I'm going to be going in a different direction. Um, so it is still going to be makeup somewhat. Maybe a a few bits and pieces of makeup here and there but there are other things that I feel like I can bring to you also um, I feel like everywhere you turn and I even heard a youtuber mention it every time she turns around there's a new makeup company I don't consider my makeup company super new it's almost two it's almost two years old in September I think it'll be two years old um but yeah, I think that I am going to be bringing to you other things other than makeup. So we are going to sort of expand what we are doing now. Um, you are going to see me more often with my makeup baskets and some tutorials and maybe a haul here and there because I am not going to stop buying makeup. I have found myself also getting drawn into the fragrance and body care and self-care world. Oh my God. That right there will get you into trouble. I found fragrance in that. And that that damn semi-annual sale from Bath and Body Works made me go on a whole July no buy. I'm telling you, I have I have fragrance now. But you probably already saw that too because I think if if I put these videos up in the way I think my makeup basket video went up already, but now it's a makeup basket and fragrance video. Um, so we're going to be doing like more of those things. And, um, if you like, seriously, if there's something that you want to see me do, let me know. I know I've said that before, but without you all, I wouldn't even be where I am right now. So whatever you say matters, and I am definitely going to take it into consideration. Um, I am going to try to be more consistent and not just let myself sit around and not do my YouTube channel because I have developed this YouTube channel over the years. If I go back and look at my first YouTube video, it is probably with some garbage. I don't even know if it's still on my channel, but that is it, you all. I just want to kind of come and kind of let you know like where my head has been at and why I haven't been 
like consistent with my YouTube videos and like what my plans are for um, life and this channel. So you're going to see more of me. So I hope that you kind of stick in there with me and um, help me get through this here hump. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.